Hello and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to go from this to this. Previously we covered how to create a subtitle file with Assembly AI. You can see the video in the card or also linked in the description below. But today we're going to see how we can color each subtitle section based on who said it. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do, of course, is to import Assembly AI and make sure that you have installed assembly AI with pip install assembly AI before you attempt to do this. And then let's get some settings in order. Settings, and we need to specify our API key here. If you do not have an assembly AI account yet, you can easily go to assemblyai.com or click the link in the description below and you'll be able to create an account in around two minutes. And then you will get your free API key. When you make your account for the first time, you get 100 hours of transcription for free with your API key. So then you can go and copy and paste your API key here. Let's create a transcriber. It's going to be an assembly AI transcriber. And then we need to pass it a configuration this time. Transcription config because we need to set speaker labels to true. And we're going to use that information to color each sentence in our subtitles. And then we get the transcript from the transcriber. Say transcribe. And we need to pass a file name. Let's also create a section here to define the file name. Um, we have a couple of example files. I'm going to use the fire drill scene from the office. So let's see example files. So from this point on, what we're going to do is we're going to get each sentence from this transcript and then we're going to make sure that it's long enough or short enough to be in a subtitle. We're going to assign it the color based on the speaker that is speaking that sentence. Uh, and uh, we're going to add some timestamps, the start and the end timestamps. So maybe I can show you an example of what a subtitle looks like. So let's see here, as you can see, it is numbered and it has a starting timestamp and an ending timestamp. And then we will give it a color. We'll specify the color based on who is speaking and then there's going to be the text in between the HTML tags of font. All right, so this is what we're going to try to make. So for that, I will get each sentence, get sentences, and I will just call these sentences. And then I will create a function called process segments and then we will pass our sentences there let's call it here all right so it, it might be a little bit hard to imagine uh, what the sentences um, variable looks like so I will start a debug here so we can have an idea of what we're working on so I'll just save this um, for now let me just call this like return true all right all right, transcription is done. So we have our sentences here. I will skip one more. All right, let's see what the sentences look like. So the sentences are not only text. Uh, as you can see, we have many, many, many sentences here, um, more than 100, 133 to be specific. So for each sentence, I will make this bigger so we can see clearer, maybe even bigger font. All right, so for each of these sentences, Inside we have a lot of information. So we have all the words that are in the sentence. Because we set speaker labels to true, we also have the speaker label. So it's either A, B, C, D, however many uh, speakers there are. We have the beginning and end milliseconds for when the sentence took place. Uh, and all that is all the information that we're going to need to structure our subtitles. So I will just keep these here. Um, just to show you the words also, it's actually very similar with the words. Um, they also have some extra information. For example, we have the speaker of the word, uh, what the text is, uh, the start and the end milliseconds or the timestamps. All right, so I'll make this a bit smaller so we can work a bit better. In this process segment function, 
to go faster, I will paste my code here and then we can go through it. At first, my subtitle content is nothing. And then I will set a subtitle indexed, index one, like we've seen here. For every piece of subtitle, we're going to have to give it an index. That's why I start counting it here. Um, well, apparently in the other code, we called it segments. Uh, so for each segment or each sentence in the sentences list, we're going to get the speaker. I will stop the debugging for a second. For each segment, we saw that there was a speaker. So we get the speaker out of it. And then I'm going to have to specify the speaker colors. Here is a pre-made list. So basically for each speaker, there is going to be a color. For A is going to be red, B is going to be orange. You can change these colors as you want. Um, so I will get the color that is assigned to the speaker with the get function. But if there is um, no color assigned to the specific speaker, let's say there is more than, how many are there? 10. There is more than 10 speakers in this audio. Uh, then we can just assign it to the default one, which is black. If you want, you can assign more uh, colors to your speakers by following the alphabet here. And then I start taking the words because we don't want um, a very, very long sentence to take up a lot of space in the screen. It might not even fit. So that's why I'm going to determine a max words per subtitle limit. And that's going to be six. I found that to be a good um, limit. And then I'm going to iterate over these words that we have. So maybe we can, let's go to the sentences for each sentence. So this sentence is last week, I gave a fire safety talk and nobody paid any attention. So this is too long of a sentence. And what we want is the first six words in the first section of the subtitle. So it's going to be last week I gave a fire uh, and then next line in the subtitles uh, list, safety talk and nobody paid any and then attention is even going to be on a separate uh, line for the subtitle. How we're going to achieve that is by basically iterating over these words and we're going to define a range that goes from zero to the length of the words and the step is not going to be one, but it's going to be max number of words that we defined, which is six. So this number, the I is going to start from zero and then it's going to add six afterwards and then add another six afterwards. So by doing that, we're gonna get the chunk. So in this example, the chunk will be last week I gave a fire and it's gonna end there. And for that, we're going to get the start time. So to get the start time, we're going to get the first word in this chunk the first word is going to be last and we're going to get the start timestamp of this first word. And then we're going to go to the last word. The last word is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, fire. And we're going to get the end timestamp of fire. And then that's going to give us the subtitles start time and the subtitles end time. And the text is going to be these six words. So, I will stop this once again. We can go back to our code. All right, once this is done, now we have the text that needs to go into the subtitle. We have the speaker color that needs to go into the subtitle and we have the start and end times. All we have to do is pass this to another function where all of this is going to be brought together. And that function is going to be create subtitles. So we're passing it the index, the subtitle index which is this number that we're seeing here. So each line of the subtitle, we're passing it the start time and the end time, the words, so the text and the color. At first text is zero. Like you've seen, the words are not just text yet. They are text and all the information that comes with the text. So we're extracting only the text from the words dictionary. And lastly, we need to format the time. So right now our time is in, in like a timestamp, a milliseconds format. We're going to take that milliseconds. We're going to first understand in what hour it is and then in what minute it is and then in what second it is. And the remainder can stay as milliseconds. So let's look at our example here. It says it's the zeroth hour, zeroth minute, zeroth second, only 720 milliseconds in the first utterance happens, which is, hi, I am Noah from AWS. So once the start and the end timestamps are formatted, 
we can define our subtitle, which is going to be the index, new line, start, start timestamp, end timestamp, and then our text. And around our text, we're going to put these font tags and give it a property of color. And this color is going to be the speaker color that we got from our list right here. And that's it. Now all I have to do is to save this file. So I'm going to open a new file with, cannot type today apparently, file name. And it's going to have the extension of SRT. And then we want to write inside it, we're going to write our SRT content and the SRT content is going to come from, oops, not there, here, the process segments, um, the file name, I think we defined it with the underscore in between. All right, so we're gonna create a file with the file name uh, with the extension of SRT. And then we're gonna put our SRT content that we defined in the process segments was specifically in the create subtitles function. And then we can just let the user know whoever is re using this code. SRT file is generated. All right, that's it. Let's try it out and see the results. SRT file is generated. Let's take a look. Ben, tell us a little bit about Assembly AI and type of challenges that you are solving with this architecture. Yeah, at Assembly AI, we're laser focused uh, on developing ML models. All right, so let's add the subtitle and then see what it looks like in real life. Ben, tell us a little bit about Assembly AI and type of challenges that you are solving with this architecture. Yeah, at Assembly AI, we're laser focused uh, on developing ML models to understand human speech with superhuman ability. In Perfect. And as you've seen, we have different colors for different speakers. No one gets red and Ben gets the orange. Um, it is harder, slightly harder than just creating subtitles with export subtitles SRT. But the nice thing is you can customize these subtitles much more. Here we change its color, but if you want, you can add the speaker tag. For example, speaker A is speaking, speaker B is speaking for each subtitle. You can even add a speaker's name. For that, you can use Lemur to understand the name of the speaker from the transcript and then say Ben is speaking and no one is speaking. But I'm going to show you how to do that in a separate video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.